Hey everybody, hope your sledge season is off to a rocking start. Thought I'd put this video together showing how to uh, clean snowmobile fuel injectors. I um, was surfing around on YouTube, saw some stuff for, for uh, automotive applications, but nothing specific to snowmobiles. So I thought I'd put this together for the sled heads. Anybody who runs an EFI sled knows that sooner or later you will have issues with injectors. That's just the way it is. And this is a great way to clean them. I uh, jumped on my 2010 M8 turbo sled the other day. Been sitting around for a while. Got halfway up the trail and the EGTs were getting pretty toasty. Narrowed it down to this. Now you could take your injectors to a local injector house and have them serviced for about 50 bucks. They'll take the screens out and flow them for you and do all that other stuff. Or you can go with a fuel additive route. This is one step uh, farther than the fuel additive route and it works really well. Um, all you need is what you see here. Anybody can do it at home. 12 volt battery out of a, out of a uh, bike or an ATV. Uh, brake clean, brake clean spray nozzle. Um, fuel line, syringe, alligator clips, and the old spaghetti sauce jar. Uh, I just popped a hole in the top, put some duct tape on there so it uh, holds the injector in place and doesn't scratch the tip. Also catches your brake clean. Um, so, injector. Take the fuel line, push it on to the end of the injector, and then of course the syringe on to the other end. It's a snug fit, but that's what you want. Uh, put the spray nozzle in the other tip of the syringe. I go just past the edge there so that it's not splattering around. And then, uh, boom. Uh, alligator clip on one, one pin, alligator clip on the other pin, and it's not. Um, this way to go, batter here, and, and it's not polarity specific, so. Um, should be able to hear it click here. Yep. Okay, so then uh, brake clean, plug her in like so, and then uh, give it a shot, and you can see it cycling through. Keep going. And you don't want to put too much pressure in here because if you do, it'll get messy. And that's it. You're good to go. That should uh, clean her out pretty good and take her apart and uh, voila you're ready to go throw that guy back in the sled and it should rip hope this helps and uh, have a great season cheers